First of all, it smells good. What? What does it smell like? Like potpourri, fruity, coffee potpourri. Oh my god, that's amazing. Like it smells good. So I want to tell you about the new product from Vitamix. It's called the Food Cycler, the FC50 Vitamix Food Cycler. Here's why you're going to love it. Well, here's why we love it. You take a fruit scraps, you put it in, it heats them up and grinds them up and then cools them down and dehydrates them and turns it into compost. So instead of putting your compost in a bin and waiting two to five months, you put everything in this little bucket, close the lid, press the button, and in two to five hours, you get this beautiful compost. And I'm going back to Psych 101 here. The Food Cycler gets you this variable interval reinforcement. And so it's like a slot machine you get hooked on, on the results of, of what you put in this food cycler. And so every night we, we empty our, our food scrap bucket into the food cycler, turn around, press the button. Actually our, our little guy, our toddler, that's kind of his thing. He loves to do it, he looks forward to doing it. It's the last thing he does on his way up to, to go to sleep. And then you wake up in the morning and you open it up and it's like, what did we get today? And when you put the cap on the night before, it's almost like when you're starting a, a, to make a juice or a, some sort of blend, you're like, ooh, this is a good one. It's, this one's got celery in it. This one's got a couple onions. Ooh, a little bit of orange peel, some coffee grinds. This is gonna be a nice, uh, nice batch of food cycle in the morning. It, it's, it's like, it's, it's really, really fun. The green living benefits are obvious. You don't have someone taking away your food scraps, which are, are water dense. Uh, putting them into a garbage truck that's powered by diesel fuel, taking it to a facility, breaking it down, grind. it's food for your garden. It's actually fun to share the love. We brought to friends' house, a friend's garden as like a special gift. Here's some fresh, delicious compost for your garden. And it's really so easy to use. Once you get it set up, there's a few pieces, but you put everything in and you put the top on, you press the button and that's it. And you can't screw it up. You know, you compare that with other Vitamix products where it's like, well, you gotta be really mindful of the ratio of the stuff that you put in there, the loading order, maybe you have to use a tamper, no. You know, as long as you don't overfill it, you're good. And for what it does, it's pretty quiet. I compare everything to blenders, but the blenders are loud. I mean, they're spinning really fast. Things are hitting all over the place. This thing is closer to like a dishwasher. You know it's running. There's kind of like a low hum and an occasional kind of thunk. It it will not disturb a sleeping baby or a sleeping and it's super easy to clean. You can take the bin and put it in the dishwasher. For a thing that doesn't have any comparable. It's not like a blender where it's like, okay, there's other blenders out there. You know what they do and the things they can do for you. And you know the, the experience you get from them and the value they can bring to your life. This thing is a new thing. It's a, it's a gadget. It's a tech thing. But, but just FYI, these are things that we have been thinking about. First thing, you should know that this thing is small. Small compared to a refrigerator and compared to a dishwasher. Appliances that are always plugged in and do some pretty heavy lifting and are cubic, right? Square or rectangular, whatever. And this thing only requires one cubic foot of space, which is not a ton. However, it's, it's not small and it's uh, not light. You know, so it needs a permanent home with an outlet, a place to plug it in. I know my sister has a, a, a newish kitchen and in that kitchen, it has a stand for a KitchenAid that's like hiding inside of a cabinet. Really cool. So it has that plug and it has a place for it to kind of pop up and pop down. That would be a perfect place for this thing. We have just kind of put ours on the floor uh, next to our pantry. And we thought that maybe the garage would be a good place for it because, well, that's maybe, no. <laughs> you want it in the kitchen, buy your food. That's where it needs to be. Even though it comes with a, a top so that the bin, the bin can live in a cabinet and receive compost, and then you can just pick up the bin and put it right in the food cycler. 
So like technically you don't really need another composting bin. It doesn't really work in a practical sense. You still need a standalone compost bin. You may produce more food scraps than the food cycler can handle in one cycle. So you need another place to hold all that stuff. We haven't really been able to figure out the transferring and the storing. They see to store it in an airtight container, but like transferring from the bin to the airtight container, it isn't the most seamless. Something you're gonna think about and gonna need to figure out. There is a little bit of uh, ongoing maintenance or ongoing costs that are associated with it. There, there's a filter indication light that will pop on when you need to change the filter. So you need to purchase those when you need to replace them. You should know that on the box and, and on the website, it says that you can put in bones, small animal bones. So small chicken bones and small fish bones. It can handle that stuff. However, in the instructions, it says very explicitly, if there are animal products in your dehydrated food waste, do not use that dehydrated food waste in soil for your garden. <laughs> do not incorporate any dehydrated food waste that contains animal protein. For example, chicken bones, fish bones, etc., into your soil. And then it says it again. Food with too high a concentration of sodium, like animal protein, could have a detrimental effect on the growth of plants. And again, <laughs> Vitamix recommends that you do not incorporate any dehydrated food waste into your soil that contains animal protein. So either don't put bones in here if you want to use the dehydrated food waste in your garden, or make sure that if you do put bones in the, in the food cycler, that the dehydrated food waste that you make doesn't go in your garden. You may find yourself thinking, okay, I have a food cycler and look what I have, this wonderful dehydrated food waste. It's compost, right? And then you start to do some research. And then you start to think, is the dehydrated food waste that comes from the food cycler, is it the same as compost that I would make in a composter with greens and browns? And over time and with heat and with a little bit of water and worms. <laughs> and then you wonder, what do I do with all this food waste? And what do I do with it in the winter time? When is the right time to put it down? How much do I put down? Do I have to mix it up? Do I have to stir it around in the existing soil? Will these particular plants like this dehydrated food waste? What if my dehydrated food waste has some cantaloupe uh, rinds in there? And that's not native to where I'm living in the Midwest. And what if just so you know, that might happen. <laughs> I think you can come back to, despite all the instructions, in most cases, depending on your existing soil makeup, so two caveats, using the dehydrated food waste as a soil amendment will incorporate all necessary nutrients to promote plant growth. <laughs> Which essentially means, just dump it in. Who might the food cycler be for? The food cycler might be for you if you're looking for a fun way to deal with your food waste and to reduce the food waste that you produce. It might be for you if you compost today, but want a, a easier and quicker way to actually use the compost in your garden. Food cycler, the FC50 might be for you if you've always wanted to compost, but have been intimidated by the big black drum and all the greens and the browns and all the instructions. This makes it really easy. This thing might not be for you if you don't have a place for it. If you don't have a place that it can live and that is near an outlet. And finally, the food cycler from Vitamix, the FC50, might not be for you if you think you're gonna drive yourself crazy thinking about doing this perfectly and all the requirements with composting and the soil and the composition of your dehydrated food waste and how to store it, how to transfer it, what to do with it all. That's gonna drive you crazy, like it drove me crazy for a little bit. This thing might not be for you, but I really don't think that should hold you up. This thing is cool. Because from a food waste perspective and from an overall carbon footprint perspective and from just a garden's happiness and using the food cycler the best you can is better than not using it at all, which is what we do. This thing, the Vitamix Food Cycler, I think it falls into the category of the perfect gift. Gift to yourself or gift to someone else. It's not something that you need that will make your life easier or make you healthier 
help you achieve your goals, your personal goals. But if you get it, or someone gets it for you, you're gonna love it. All you have to do is use one of our links to buy and look for our name at checkout, 06 no yoke next to free standards shipping. We'll get a little bit of credit. And guys, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell to get notified. And if you appreciate videos like this, hit that thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. like coffee grounds. That's so cool. Can I actually feel it? Yeah. Can you smell or no? <laughs> Let's see if my post-COVID nose works. It just smells fresh. I just smell freshness. Not, smell not, you know, like rotting or, you know, like musty like compost does or anything. I like it. I mean, I'm not going to eat it, but I like it. Mm. And it got so small. That's really nice. That's really nice. It'll be easy to dump and stuff. An easy dump. Right here. You made a compost? On the food cycler. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my. Unbelievable. Right? Isn't that cool? Oh my gosh. It smells good. That's amazing. Garbage. I. Here. Let's see. Oh my. That does that in like three to five hours instead of like months. I want it. Well, you can have it. Oh, we're gifting people compost. Yeah. Oh, We've been I going love to people's it. houses and being like, here's Here. a jar of compost for I you. Love it. Yeah. That is so cool. Right?